Hey guys, Bymudger here, and we're back for the finale of Let's Play 3D Classics Kid Icarus. And it is getting light out, so I've pretty much got one shot at this, or I'll have to wait till tonight to finish recording this. Anyways, here we are on the level. Right off the bat, you're going to see totems falling out of the sky. And usually wherever there's a hole in the ceiling, you can expect totems to come. And then we've got plenty of these... Moilas, the starfish-like creatures. I like to just stay over here on the side and shoot the few that come. I really like to take advantage of the fact that enemies don't spawn again while there's hearts from a previous enemy of that type on the screen. Over here we have Aranus. It likes to blast into three pieces that try to home in on you when you uh, shoot it. However, it seems to only be able to shoot horizontally, so it's easy enough to avoid. Uh, we got sirens here. They're actually pretty hard to hit, and if you just stay still, they won't hit you. If you try to go to the bottom of the screen, it will automatically fly you up to the middle. We got Daphne's here, flower-like things that just jump up from the bottom of the screen, much like the minnows did in the surface world. Pretty soon here we will be seeing, yep, there they are, Zuri's. They're kind of annoying to hit, but they're even more annoying to pass by without hitting. So I like to take out the Zuri's. Everything else I pretty much try to dodge. This level's a little bit long, but I mean, this is all of World 4. This is the final level. And obviously you don't have to worry about pits, since you have the magic wings, and the mirror shield, and dang it, Moilas. Seems you can pretty well avoid them just by staying all the way to the right, but staying all the way to the right puts you in a good position for totems to hit you, so I stay at the bottom right as far to the bottom right as I really can stay. See? Just got nailed by totems. Twice! Two times in a row, man! Jeez! Totems really aren't that big of a deal. I'm surprised I've actually gotten hit by them. Wow, that's the first time I actually got hit by a siren. I guess you just have to stay forward enough and then they'll miss you. They go in kind of a tilde pattern, so... I think we are about halfway through the stage now. Honestly, there's not a lot to say about the stage until we get to the end of it. More Zuri's. So uh, just for the record, your shots will go across the screen, whether you uh, got the bow or not at this point. You may notice that my, uh, my weapons are actually disabled at this point. And it seems like I'm in pretty rough shape for the boss, but it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> the boss is really easy. In fact, there's an exploit. Well, not really an exploit, but I mean, there's a sweet spot that you can stand in and the boss can't even hit you. I mean, I'll explain it when I get there. Of course, the boss is going to die pretty quickly. I guess I could stand to take less damage, but, uh... Ah, uh, frickin' sirens. Got one block of health left. No! Eh, it's not a big deal. I think we are about to come up on the boss, though. After, I think, one more section of Daphne's and Zuri's.
Uh, in case you're curious about the controls, uh, Pit automatically flies, so you just move them around with a directional pad. As far as I know, A button does nothing. Normally it would jump, but here it does nothing. Just like the goggles. Here we are at the boss. This is Medusa. She will shoot rays at you from her eye, and she will throw snakes called Thanatos at you. Now here's the exploit. You can just stand right here, and she'll never hit you. All you have to do is make sure you hit the snakes, but, you know, I'm better than that. All you really have to do is alternate your shots in between hers. And done. I didn't even have to use one of my potions of the gods there. And the goddess Palutina is rescued. Thank you, Joshua. And we grow big and macho and everything, and Palutina thinks we're hot, so she's gonna give us a kiss. This is the best ending. Looks so much better here. Medusa was destroyed in the light of peace returned to Angel Land, but to maintain peace, Joshua struggles on. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a lot of fun for me. Uh, this game used to be just frustrating to me, but with this version and the new controls, this game has become so freaking fun. I've beaten it like three times in a week here. I usually don't do that with games. Like, it's even stopped me from playing Kid Icarus Uprising because of how much fun it is. I just want to keep playing this game. I really hope they put uh, Of Myths and Monsters on the virtual console soon because I would really like to play that game I mean I played a little bit of it when I was little but just like Kid Icarus I had never beaten it and to this day I still haven't beaten that one uh, I'll probably throw up a little credit sequence of my own showing off all the monsters since the game doesn't really show you their names and all that but anyways, that is the end. This has been Let's Play 3D Classics Kid Icarus. I am Blamager, and I will see you guys in the next Let's Play. Later. Oh, by the way, if you press the start button, it just takes you back to the uh, main menu.